Hey, this is Notzer, and we're in the Tier 8 American Cruiser, Cleveland on the map Two Brothers. Unfortunately, she is completely stock in 7.5, just as I feared. Just like the Udaloi, you lose all of your upgrades, so you have to earn the XP and remount them. It's unfortunate. I think it's just an issue with the system. I don't know if they would want to go in and hand do it if it's that big of a deal. You know, there's so much reward from a new patch, a new line split, and I wanted to go over all of that. So, Cleveland, obviously, it's in the Light Cruiser branch, which won't exist until 7.6. And some of you might be going, well, I would really like the Cleveland. I don't have the Cleveland. You have a way of earning the Cleveland. You have a way of earning the Sims as well. If you are lucky enough to get a US container, you have a chance to get a mission. And this mission is very simple. I think it's like 5,000 base XP or something, very limited requirement. It'll give you the ship for doubloons, for the actual ship or credits, if you already have the ships. So it's pretty cool what you get from one of these US containers. Obviously, I already have the Cleveland, but I just want to make sure you guys know that the community contributors will have access to some U.S. containers that they can choose to give out. I think I'm going to go with a mix between the community contributor containers and some of the U.S. containers. I don't have them yet. I also don't have access to the Tier 10 press account module setup thing. I guess I had to request it and uh, I was moving, so clearly I don't have it, but I'll check that out in the future. Now, another thing that you need to make sure you're doing, playing one game in the Pensacola, if you haven't, you'll get 190,000 Elite Commander XP. There's no mission for that. It'll just happen. Also, you should play the Indianapolis if you have it. Now, there is a 20, 25, I don't know, 21, 25 mission requirement to unlock the Indianapolis. But if you already have the Indianapolis, and bless your heart if you do, it's not a very good ship. If you play it once a day, you'll get a US container. Pretty simple, right? So, just keep an eye on all that stuff. I hope that you get the most out of the US containers and the campaign and all this stuff because it really is very rewarding. And I hope that you enjoy it. Now, my Cleveland is a typical Cleveland location. Firing over an island, enemy can't see me. It is very stagnant, but I'm listening to my teammates who are calling out targets, and I'm also calling out my own targets. It was an enemy DD that captured A point, and I was worried that I might not be in range, so I didn't use my radar then. Friendly did use his radar, one of the Clevelands, and didn't detect him, right? And he's still getting a, you know, spider sense that the enemy DD must be in this range. He was considering using radar, and I think he will use it, you know, any second now. And we've been firing on a couple British battleships. The, I think the Monarch first, which died very quickly, and now Queen Elizabeth. The Brits absolutely hate HE being fired at them. They have such a soft outer layer. And this, Queen Elizabeth allowed four fires, then put it out with damage control. Don't blame them. But pretty much every single part of the ship except for the guns themselves, will take full damage from my guns. So they give it really well, maybe not the Queen Elizabeth HE-wise, but they take a lot of damage from HE. I would definitely recommend if you're a light cruiser, just pick on them. They're, they're gonna have a tough time with you. And I'm loving my light cruisers. I love the Cleveland. I only have the Boise. Mogami's great too, obviously British cruisers. I can't wait to play the full line. It's just fun. To have a rate of fire that's usable. It's the same way that the Des Moines feels rewarding. Its rate of fire is quick enough that you can load the right ammo, you can feel like you can fire left to right, you can be really aggressive with your target selection. So I, I really enjoy that. Two fires set on the Queen Elizabeth. I think she's gonna burn down. At this point, pretty close, right? Obviously Queen Elizabeth. I want to push forward because it does look like the enemy has retreated from the outer flank 
and I do have radar. I would love to use it against a DD, and clearly I'm spotted. So I know the DD is within my radar range. It's basically one-to-one -one on the Cleveland. So keep that in mind if you're going to pressure the Cleveland. Most likely, they will radar you, and sure enough, we radar. And what is the deal with a lot of naked ships? It Maybe it's the U.S. camo, that Stars and Stripe. Very attractive camo, I must say, but probably bias. I've just seen a lot of naked ships this weekend. And uh, this is no exception. Just do a little bit of damage to this guy. Get him to move off. Get away, Farragut. Get away. And he is maneuvering rather well. I should honestly not be firing this way. So here's the mistake I'm making. I am firing all guns. Instead, what I should do is I should hold the button, not double click, and I should drag it along all the potential directions he could maneuver. And if he's maneuvering in a way that's predictable, then you could fire center mass, but it looked like he was angling left to right based on reaction, and reaction is the toughest to deal with. You, it's really hard, especially for slow guns, but if the guns are slow, you can fire over the island, right? There's a huge advantage there, so I'm not really complaining. Did he really want to come back? Does he have a chance? Why would he come back? Did he forget I was here? Uh, I don't know. Oh, he thinks because radar is done, he'll be fine to camp in the smoke. Well, this is the problem with your plan. I'm going to kill you real fast, and I'll have hydroacoustic as well. Plus, teammate has radar. So I'm sure many of you have run into this very similar outcome. There are so many radar ships that are playing right now, and it is intense. Really intense. It's just something you gotta deal with. Three, four, five per side. Very normal right now, with all the American cruiser going on. You just gotta play passive. Be careful. Don't go pushing yourself in a situation. If you know that there are no other radar ships, yes, then I would potentially move forward, but he saw the friendly. He knew he was there. And these guys are taking a ton of damage. I could honestly probably switch to AP, but the HE is doing so much damage. I'm kind of looking for fires, and it's inertial fuse. It's, it's never going to shatter unless I hit the gun, like I did right there. It, it does good damage. Probably would kill in the exact same salvos, if I'm going to be completely honest. It might even be a little bit in favor of HE, because... If they are going to angle a little bit, this smaller gun caliber, the 152s, it's just not going to be as consistent as a 203. 203, absolutely. Push in that AP all day, every day. Baltimore's great. I love it on tier 8. But for the smaller gun caliber, I would stick with HE. I've got too much invested in it, right? Inertia Fuse High Explosive, honestly, Concealment, Demolition Expert, all those typical skills that you expect allowing yourself to get close and harass the hell out of the enemy. It just... Just go with what works. You know, I... I... I, I switch my ammo probably in the worst situations and a lot of times I won't switch at all because I get punished. I, I find a target that is going to bow on and I just switch to AP and... You know, just... It, it's a great ship. I saw some people and I'm like, oh, Cleveland, I don't know. Um, she's good. No complaints here, my friends. Are we going to get the kill on the Shanhurst? We've done a ton of damage so far. Enemy Cleveland's trying to fire on me. I'm maintaining good angle. The Shanhurst doesn't really have the gun caliber to overmatch against a good angle target. He would have to switch to HE. And normally they're pretty not into switching. But, yeah, we, we race through this game. I just want to make sure you guys are taking advantage sims and the cleveland missions if you already have them you'll get free credit and doubloons i believe depending on which one obviously play one pensacola play the indianapolis daily to get a i think a chance or a guaranteed u.s container and the containers allow you to earn your collection badges and stuff like that which will allow you to get your camouflage your alternative camouflage and the second flag and then the final reward 
that beautiful American camouflage for the Cleveland. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll catch you next time.